Um, as far as animation, there's been a lot of uh, people asking me about animation. And <laughs> I broke it down into three categories uh, because animation is huge. I watch, as far as I'm concerned, uh, some of the most brilliant movies ever made have been animation. Uh, some of the most uh, important movies ever made up in animation so what I'll uh, what I'll give you I broke this down into three categories um, one of the first one being um, I'm gonna give you a list of uh, 10 full-length animated movies that I've watched multiple times so this isn't you know I wanted to do the 10 best animated movies but they're very difficult to do because again it's uh, it depends on the genre and uh, you know there are amazing movies out there that I've only watched once I've only had the opportunity to watch once right so these are uh, we'll call this the 10 10 full-length animated movies that I have watched multiple times okay uh, first one and this is uh, in no order uh, the first one on the list is Tekken Kinkirit uh, the English name would be black and white. It came out in 2006 and it's based on a manga series from 1993-1994. And wow, what a brilliant movie. Really, just visually stunning and the story was absolutely magnificent. Um, and after watching the movie, I tracked down the manga and I read the manga and the manga is fantastic as well. Really amazing. Okay. Uh, if the first five minutes uh, of that movie, ten minutes of the movie doesn't blow you away visually, I don't know what will. Um, the second movie um, is from 1988 uh, from Studio Ghibli, uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Okay, and it's, wow, what a powerful movie. Um, it's the movie that I, um, it's the two go-to movie um, that I, uh, uh, expose people to if they've never watched animation if they're into uh, more serious uh, movies and stuff like this if they're into you know they brush off animation uh, Grave of the Fireflies is what I introduced them to and it was directed by um, Isio, Is Isio uh, Takahata uh, Japanese Studio Ghibli, uh, Ghibli. Um, third movie absolutely brilliant movie uh it's sort of a um, french canadian i believe french canadian sort of multiple countries involved in this uh thief and the cobbler um and the production for this um started in 1964 and they were able to finally finish it in 1995 it came out uh, i think it was released in 1993 but I think it was released before that. Um, I remember finding out that this movie, it cost a lot of money. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like Asherish, uh, as far as the animation is concerned, uh, just layered. Um, but the production was taking so long. It's uh, considered to be the longest uh, production movie there there's ever been. Um, and uh, at some point, I believe the DVD for this was being released with cereal boxes, uh, like one of the children's cereal boxes. They included a DVD of this in the cereal box, right? Uh, it should be much, much uh, better known. Uh, fourth movie on the list, Cowboy Bebop, uh, the movie 19, uh, 2001, uh, amazing movie. Uh, amazing movie um fifth movie the prophet it came out in 2014 uh, it's got multiple directors it's uh, based on uh, the book by the lebanese uh, writer artist philosopher i guess they they mention here uh, kahalil gibran uh, and it's amazing it's fantastic animation really uh, I've already watched it two or three times uh, uh, and it came out I was just exposed to it a few months ago uh, well in the last year anyway uh, fantastic movie and great 
great stories and the animation styles are beautiful beautiful uh, very reminiscent of animatrix um, the prophet uh, the sixth movie the iron giant uh, 1999 uh, brilliant brilliant movie very powerful movie uh, the seventh movie uh, princess mononoke uh, 1997 studio ghibli again uh, directed by uh, Miyakazi Heyo hey, hey, I'm sorry about the names uh, but Miyazaki okay uh, Princess Mononoke amazing movie uh, fantastic theme and again uh, from Miyakazi and this movie uh, Miyakazi's movies have certain theme associated with them which is environmental and this movie as well uh, just blew me away uh, 1984 it came out uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind and I didn't know this I, I found this out after looking this up but this is the movie that gave birth to Studio Ghibli and uh, Miyakazi's success uh, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind was so successful that uh, Mia, um, Miyakazi started Studio Ghibli with just you know kicking that off into studio ghibli fantastic and a couple of other animations old school that i've watched the most uh, would be heavy metal from 1981 fantastic uh, and it has vancouver roots to it i believe some of the production was done here or financed from here and lord of the rings the 1978 animation that was uh, um, Bakshi, Ralph Bakshi, a fantastic, uh, amazing animation. Uh, too bad they ran out of money to finish the whole thing off. Um, but fantastic animation. And I saw both of these in the movie theater. Um, uh, heavy metal, I got in. I was a kid, but I got in. And uh, Lord of the Rings was a double feature with uh, Clash of the Titans. And I went on a matinee by myself and watched it. It was fantastic, right? Um, so those are 10 movies animated movies that i watched multiple times and i will continue to watch multiple times um.